Have you ever wondered what are ways to get paid in affiliate marketing? Do you often wonder how to reach the actual potential of a profit in affiliate marketing? Have you found yourself frequently thinking if you have proper knowledge of using different ways to get profit in affiliate marketing? If yes then you have landed on the right video. Welcome back to another episode of Colorful Finance the number one source for content centered around earning money from home. We provide you with theoretical experience in our videos and practical experience with the tools we provide you in the description. Subscribe to the channel so you're always up to date with our latest uploads. In this video, we'll take you through everything you need to know about three ways to get paid in affiliate marketing. Now let's get into it. Affiliate marketing is a business agreement whereby you hook up your online site to other companies and businesses. You allow these companies and businesses to place advertisements on your website, then, when people click on one of the ads placed and or buy something after clicking on the ad placed, you receive a commission. The exact amount depends on whether you use a pay-per-lead, pay-per-click, or pay-per-sale affiliate program and the affiliate program or programs you choose to set up on your site. Affiliate marketing can be quite profitable. You do not have to have a lot of money to start and you can potentially make a lot of money by advertising other businesses and companies on your website or blog. It should be noted, however, that while affiliate marketing has the potential to be profitable, it is not a guaranteed money maker and it is not easy money. You will need to put in the time and work to set up your website and maintain and update it on a regular basis or you will not get many people visiting it. The first step, before you actually set up the site, is to choose what you want the site to specialize in. It can be anything from Pandora charms to dog kennels. The important thing is that you choose something that you are knowledgeable about and that the subject is not too broad. For instance, instead of choosing clothes, choose a particular niche such as women's clothes or lingerie. The more specific you get, the easier your site will be to rank and find. Once you have chosen what the site will be about, then work with a website builder to set up the site. While it is possible to create a site on your own, it is hard to do unless you have experience in this field. A website builder can create the site in such a way that it attracts customers, which is of paramount importance if you want to make a profit. When you choose a website name, choose something that people will search for. If the site is about women's shoes, for instance, choose a name that is as closely related to that as possible, such as goodwomenshoes.com choose 4ladies.com, or bestwomensdressshoes.com. Due to the fact that there are millions of sites, you may find that the name you want for your website is already taken, so be prepared with a list of alternatives that you can choose from. After the site is set up, then choose one or more affiliate programs to work with. A few good options are Share a Sale, ClickBank, Commission Junction, and Max Bounty. While there are others, it is important to make sure that the affiliate programs you work with are legitimate and pay on time. In addition, setting up AdSense on your website is a good idea. Google's AdSense program can be set up on any site free of charge. Once set up, ads appear on your web page, and you are paid on a pay-per-click basis. When people visit your site and click on an ad, you receive a small commission. The more people who click on the ads, the more money you make. However, you should never click on your website's ads yourself. The AdSense programs will recognize that the clicks are coming from you and AdSense will be removed. Clicking on your own web page's ads, it should be noted, is taboo no matter what affiliate program you use and what the payment method is. As was mentioned, there are three ways in which you can be paid for setting up an affiliate site and placing ads on it. You can choose between pay-per-click, pay-per-lead, and pay-per-sale advertising programs. Pay-per-click is pretty straightforward. When a visitor to your site clicks on an ad listed there, you receive a small commission. Pay-per-sale payment means that you receive a commission from each sale that the clicked on advertisement leads to. If someone clicks on the ad but does not purchase anything from the company that placed the advertisement, you do not receive anything. The commission you get from a sale is substantially larger than the payment you would receive for a clicked on advertisement. Paper lead can be one of a number of different arrangements. You receive a commission for each particular action that is taken as a result of the advertisement is clicked on. You get a commission each time a potential customer clicks on the advertisement on your site and then completes a survey, enters his or her name in a sweepstakes contest, signs up for a free trial of the product advertised, or downloads a software demo. 
The exact arrangement varies from company to company and usually does not include all the mentioned options. It is best to choose a combination of all three of the previously mentioned payment methods. For instance, you could have Google AdSense on your site, which is a pay-per-click advertising program, and then have other advertisements on the site that are either pay-per-sale or pay-per-lead. Setting up a website or blog and giving it a catchy name, choosing an affiliate marketing program, and setting up AdSense are all good first steps. However, as was touched on above, these are by no means the only things you need to do if you want your affiliate marketing site to be successful. You will need to keep your blog or website current. This involves writing articles, or paying an online content service to have the articles written for you, putting up pictures and graphics, and making sure the site stays abreast of current trends and is interesting and informative. For instance, if your site is about clothing, shoes, purses, or women's accessories, you will find that trends and fashions change quite quickly. You will need to stay abreast of the subject and keep your site current. People will search for what is currently in fashion, not yesterday's styles and fashions. Keeping the site current involves reading up on the subject discussed in your blog or website and then putting up interesting articles that will catch people's attention. The articles should be informative and useful. This way, people will refer others to your site as being a useful source of information. You may also want to hire a company that does search engine optimization. Search engine optimization means having your website being one of the first ones listed when someone does a search on a topic related to your website. If your site is about Pandora charms and someone does an internet search for this keyword, you would want your site to be one of the top ones listed. This ensures that you will get more visitors to your site. The more visitors you get, the more ads on the site are likely to be clicked on, the more business the affiliated marketers will receive, and the more money you will make. Affiliate marketing is a big subject. If you are serious about starting an affiliate marketing blog or website, then take the time to study up on the subject. You can find helpful videos and webinars on YouTube or other sites that discuss different ideas and ways to make your site successful. You will note that while many sites make a big commotion about how much money can be made with affiliate marketing, it is important to keep in mind that you are not going to make large amounts of money right off the bat. Even if your website is well set up, your article's professional, interesting, and appealing, and the site is near the top of the list when keywords related to what you are selling are typed into an internet search engine, it takes time to get many visitors to your site. All new internet sites set up for the purpose of affiliate marketing go through this phase, so do not feel bad or like you did something wrong. Sadly, many affiliate marketing sites do not make it. In fact, not many do, in fact, turn affiliate marketing into a profitable venture. One main reason is that many people give up on their sites too soon when the site does not make the expected or hoped for income does not materialize within a short period of time. If you are serious about success, you will need to be willing to be patient and tenacious and keep working on your site. Keep updating it, maintaining it, and improving it, and know that as time goes on, slowly but surely, your site will get more visitors and become prosperous. And, with that, we've reached the end of this video all about Professional Affiliate Marketing Primer. Let us know in the comments section down below if you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful and interesting. Remember to leave a thumbs up before you leave. Also subscribe to Colorful Finance and click the notification bell so you're always up to date with our latest releases as always. Thanks for stopping by and watching. See you again soon at the next one.